When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. Okay, so we have got to try to help out Randy with an eye. <laughs> she said, hi there, my morning show friends. Oh, hi there, Randy with an eye. I have a situation to run past you both. Mm-hmm. Recently went out with someone I met via a dating app who seemed amazing. And I did what I feel everyone does in a new relationship. I Googled him. All right. But my simple search yielded nothing. Mm-hmm. Like not a dang thing. Oh. So now this person claimed to have professional affiliations that should have shown up if the name they gave me was in fact their name. Mm-hmm. I gingerly asked what was up, and the person immediately reacted poorly, saying that my research made them uncomfortable, was a huge red flag, and ended things. Oh, wow. Yep. For context, this conversation happened after the third date and after we had gotten intimate. Okay. This person made me feel unreasonable, but I think that it's because they had something to hide. Does this seem normal to you? Oh, wow. Okay. Apparently, this date felt like that she was, was being intrusive and yeah, trying to invade his privacy or but know, at the a little stalkerish early on or something. But at the same time, if he's given her just a line on a first date or second date to try to pump him up, and I mean that you got to think is going to come to light eventually, right? Well, yeah, I kind of feel like if he didn't have anything to hide, he would have just been like, you know. I I you know I don't like social media. I feel like it's intrusive. Whatever you know, I keep a low profile. He could have like given an answer, but instead he freaked out and didn't want to see her again. So that seems like an extreme I wonder, reaction. I wonder because he must do something, or at least he said he did something that would have come up in a search. Right. Because that's what she was saying. She was like, like professional maybe she tried to find him on like the website or yeah, something of his business. Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe. And he wasn't there. Uh, Brad writes in and says, yeah, something's up with this guy. It's not uncommon to Google anyone nowadays. By the way, love girls named Randy. Oh, there you go. Hey, Randy. <laughs> Randy with an eye. have a possibility there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> right. I was going to say, well. If, you lost uh, out on this guy, but maybe say, Brad's your man. This this guy didn't work out, but maybe Brad is, is your guy. Now, Jennifer has kind of the opposite. Says, nope. You don't seem normal to me. In my personal opinion, it's creepy to do research on someone, especially if they have not given you any reason to not trust them. Oh. But now, hasn't he given her a reason not to trust her by... I feel like now he has. Maybe he didn't, you know, when she decided to Google him. Wanda, though, said, you did the wise thing. Heck, I've Googled myself. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Google yourself. What? Yeah, Uh, you know, Stephanie said you can't be too careful these days. There are a lot of crazy people out there. I would have done the same thing. If he's hiding something or not honest about something, you have a right to research and ask questions. Red flag, move on. Okay. Red flag, move on. Yeah, I mean, I I don't think you're going to get this guy back, and nor do I think, Randy, with an I, you want this guy back. No, yeah, if he's reacting like this, like mm-hmm. just dumping you over like, hey, how come I, you know, can't find you anywhere online, you know? And and we don't know how she phrased it either. She said she gingerly, like what if she said, oh, hey, I was trying to find you on Facebook, you know, to like friend you or something mm-hmm. or Instagram, and I couldn't, and that seems like that would be innocent enough but if she goes in with the whole hey you said you worked here and i couldn't find you on the website (laughs) you know that's a little more aggressive yeah okay hey i want to know does anybody have a story of them googling a date and the crazy thing that came up yeah finding some lies or something we just got a text from a listener that said uh, I have a cop friend that did all my background checks wh- <gasps> while I was in my dating prime. Oh, that's mm. kind of great. That oh, would wow. be wow. That would be wild. That's a nice resource. Yeah, that that is. Yeah, for sure. And then they don't have to know. Right. Right. Yeah. So I'd love to hear your story of googling your date and then finding something out. Oh, Mike said, tell her to try BenVerified dot com and search his phone number. Got it. All right, five zero two seven nine five one ninety nine seven. Would love to hear your stories at all. And she no. just kind of she said she gingerly asked him about, and he freaked out and ended things. Yeah. So she was like, um, "Is that weird?" Kim said, uh, "If you are not googling someone in this day and age, then you're a complete idiot. You never know what someone <laughs> might be hiding. At the very least, you want to make sure they're not a wanted criminal." Well, yes. Mark is like, you know, um. The guy's on a dating app. Pretty much opens the door to internet anything. 
Good uh, point. Yeah, another listener uh, texted us and said, not a date, but I Googled a friend's fiance and was able to find out that he had an active match.com account. Um, what? As a fiance, yep. that's bad. You yep. should be shutting that down when you're a fiance. For sure. All right, Bethany. Okay, so I had been going out with this guy for uh, maybe two weeks, and um, I really liked him, so I figured I'd Google him. And lo and behold, he has three mug shots that instantly pop up on Google. <gasps> not one, oh, not two, but three. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did it say, like, what he was, you know, charged with or what he was arrested for? I don't think it did, but when I asked him, he, I don't know, he downplayed it a lot. He was like, yeah, I was young, and I was stupid, and I made mistakes. And I'm like, dude, this mugshot's from like a year ago. Mm. You're not that much younger. <laughs> he was a different person then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, personal growth. Right, right, personal growth. <laughs> wow. Bethany. Okay, so see, in your situation, I think that was smart. Yeah, but um, not, not so smart that I, I still dated him for six months. Uh, okay. Well, in the face of all that, you were like, you know what? Mug shots aside, he's a great kisser. No, see, that's right. See, yeah. while he was quote unquote young and see, but I really will claim that I was like nineteen, and I was like, maybe he's a good guy. Maybe he did just make a mistake. No, um, no, he, he was a bad was guy. How hot was he? Uh, again, I was young. <laughs> all right, we understand. We okay. all been there, Bethany. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Bethany. Thanks, guys. All right, see ya. Bye. Hi, Aubrey. So tell us your story. Okay, like you literally cannot make this stuff up. So I met this guy online, met him at a bar, starts talking to me, asking me if I believe in like the paranormal and supernatural and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever, that's cool. Well, he starts talking about how his family and himself had been abducted by ufos and how he's had all these traumatic abductions and i'm sitting here like oh this is too much okay like i'm all for like having some ghost friends but if you're bringing that into the relationship i gotta bounce it was an absolute by felicia wave it out wanda situation oh my gosh i had a friend of mine at another bar and called him and was like oh my god i need a rescue walks over to the bar and I'm like oh hey haven't seen you in forever let's go get a drink totally walked out never saw a guy again oh wow wow yeah. oh, man. that you was a little like you over missed an opportunity though Aubrey you missed an opportunity to find out what it's like on the spaceship I don't want to be probed I'm all good <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is way outside my comfort zone. That is an exit only situation. <laughs> oh my God. Aubrey, I love you. All right. <laughs> oh my God. Y'all are my favorite. <laughs> right. thanks, for, thanks for talking to us. All right. Y'all have a great day. All right. Okay. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> You realize she never really even answered the Google nope. question? Nope, she didn't. She just wanted to tell us a story about her first date. All right. Thank you, Aubrey. Appreciate it. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. It was a great story. It doesn't even matter. She's like, I don't care what you guys are talking about. I just want to tell you, <laughs> you about my alien story. Uh.